Hey guys, welcome back to Code in Box Automation Lab. This is Sherful. In this lecture, we're going to see how to extract text from an app element. So assume that this is, you know, uh, here is a here is our app, and from this app, you know, we can extract, you know, any text from any element. That's what we're going to see. So before we start, let's uh, let's uh, open our APM inspector that will help us to inspect the element. So here is our APM inspector and this is our uh, emulator where is our app is open. But and before I start the session of the APM inspector, please remember you have to make sure your APM server is up and running. To do this, open your command prompt and just type APM. I hope that you all know. Very simple. So let the server run first. And this is manually, you know, you're running your APM server to use your APM inspector to, insp you know, to locate your elements in your app. Okay, that's all. Okay, it looks like it's running. Okay, so now we can minimize, just keep it minimized. Okay, now you can start your session for your APM. okay so here is our APM inspector is open uh, and here is our emulator you will see how is core related you know it's it's a one uh, if you do something in one place it will also uh, will impact will have the same command will have the same uh, click or, or, or action on the other uh, side too so anyways so let's see so what would be the, our scenario? Our scenario would be we'll click on views. Okay, so to click on views, let's uh, spy the views uh, element. Click on up there. So here you can see uh, the views. We have an accessibility ID. We have an XPath, which is pretty get, great. We can use any one of them. So let's open our Eclipse. So here I create another class. Okay, underneath the same project, if you see this was our project right APM project here I create another class I give a class name is view text okay view text is a class name this is the one I create so view text is a class name and then I extend with my base class because in the base class I have util uh, method which is about the the driver info about the uh, programmatically open our server APM server everything I hope you all know right so over here this is our base class here is the you know configure uh, the APM configuration method right everything's and also which is using the before uh, before class annotation so that it runs before any methods uh, we have in our class and also there is a tear down method which is after class annotation anyways get back to our view text class so after that I create another uh, test method which is uh, just given name text test okay and over here you will see the first things we're going to find the you know the the view uh, the locator for the views right so the locator for the views was over here you can see we oh, have accessibility ID I believe that I use accessibility ID you can just click on there you will copy this and then go back to here so this is our first line okay this is our first line so driver dot find element uh, here is I'm using accessibility ID since we're using accessibility ID as you know we have to use APM by instead of by right I hope that from our previous lecture you already know and this is the value which is the views and then click so after I click up there what's next after I click on up there click on up there let's click on there so this is so we are we are using here is the views like accessibility ID so let's click on there you'll see if you click in here it is it will also you know change the impact on our emulator so it's already over here right so it's already moved to the next page so we're going to click on we're going to find uh, this uh, the locator for this button and then we all will also click on the button so let's click on the button so here is it 
again we have accessibility ID for a button or XPath in this case we're going to use the XPath so just copy the XPath straightforward go back to the, our next line you can see next line it's over here this is I said a driver dot find element driver dot find element right, by XPath and here is the value of the XPath right you can see driver dot find element and then this is the value of the XPath uh, and then click on there so this is the click on the button okay so after I click on the button let's go be, uh, back over here so click on the button so let's go click on the button next one it will show you will see it's in our emulator already change it will show there's a three button over here one is called normal another is small another one is uh, you know the off about uh, in our uh, inspector didn't change so if it didn't change it's already changed on our emulators then in that case you know you can just you know use the refresh so our inspector will refresh will catch the screen as per our emulator so you see now it's matching now over here we have a normal let's see we'll we'll extract the text from this normal button so let's spy the uh, you know the locator for the normal button first over here this is the text related from the normal but over here you can see all the attribute so we have accessibility ID we have ID let's use the ID in this case okay we're going to use ID so copy this and then get back to our uh, Eclipse okay over here so we're saying driver dot find element by ID so which is you know exactly the same as you know from the selenium world and then this is the value of the ID and in this case we're going to get the text from this from this button okay in this button normal you can see on the on the right hand side over here it has accessibility ID ID XPath and here is a more attribute and value you can see there is a, it has a uh, uh, text text is normal this is the normal text right so we can extract this text which is belongs to in this button in this button right is normal button so we're going to extract the text to extract the text from an element you know what do we do we use a get text method right which is very same thing we do in selenium so where this is the locator for this normal button and then we apply the get text method so it will get the text you know from this element right that's what is happened and let's put this one and this is this is what we're going to verify so we're good uh, this will give me the text from this element so let's put in a, uh, a variable is called normal BT BTN right BTN so normal button and then it is returning a string since it's a, re it's a string right and now we're going to compare so how we're going to assert like compare it means assert you will can compare like whatever you are getting the the actual text from that element is that going to match uh, matching your expected text expected it, it like you know uh, like it will provide from your product owner so assume that our product owner giving you expect text which is also normal so in that case you know in a test ng it has a, another assertion features it's called uh, you know assertion like you can uh, to do you know using that fee assertion features you can verify you can compare between a string to a string you can verify you know uh, two elements you can verify two boolean there's a lot of uh, other options to do the assertion so how how we can do this we can just call assert assert class assert dot assert assert if you assert is a class from test ng which has the assertion method you can see there is a lot of assert equals method uh, to you know compare between ex actual and expected if this both are boolean but we're comparing both you know strings so if you go down you will see definitely to a string option over here you can see assert that assert equals there is a string actual a string expected and if you want to pass any message other than uh, you can just use this to let's use this we're not using any any message so we don't need the third option one okay so this is where we're making we're doing assert dot assert equals uh, between two string one is like this is the one which is the the actual what we're getting from that button and uh, over here we're going to compare our expected one what do we expect so let's put the expected one exactly the same 
like a normal right so whatever it's it's showing up there assume that you know your your product owner give you this is the text is saying that okay this is the text is supposed to be over there so this is your expected so let's put the expected and this is the the actual one you're getting from there right so you can compare this to save it okay it will tell you it's a password failed so let's minimize this now before you run it over here in a lot of people they do the mistake and then they get a problem they get some sort of encounter uh, some sort of like error so before you run it you know just make sure that you close your this server that you uh, you, p you run manually so close it because you know in our code when you run it you know it will also call the util method like configure util method from our base class in our base class we have a you know programmatically automatically op run our server open our server so if you have a server is already open you know it will have uh, some conflict and then there will be some uh, you will encounter some sort of problem some kind of error okay so that's why it's close that one and and also you know you can just uh, end of this session let's end of the session so we don't need any more for the the APM inspector let's end of the session okay minimize it okay so that should be good now okay so you can keep this one as it is or you can just you know go back to the uh, uh, you know a back button so that you are in home page it should be fine okay let's run it now okay uh, let's run it okay let's run is okay and make sure you use at the red test annotation to be a part of your you know test ng features okay run as a test ng okay you can see over here let me make it a little bit bigger so because your server is not will show over here let it run okay I can see there's a welcome screen for APM version 2.0 it's kicking off the the APM server there's a 200 response which is good okay looks good to me still APM server is trying to connect with the app Here we go. You can see on the right hand side, your emulator get, got a kick off with the app, with the app. Let's click on views. I already saw. Now it's supposed to click on button. Click on button. You can see it was clicked on button. So now it moved to the over here and it's closed. So and you can see now. Let's you know see the result over here. You can see the test result test result it's like the, it is it is the status is passed this is the test cases which is the test a uh, text test right that's our test right and it's run one there is no failure you can say it's pass you know so it's which is pretty good and if you want you can see in details over here also uh, underneath the you know result of uh, uh, for the running this test class right so over here this is the test it's passed right so everything looks good so so it means it it is it matches the expected result this actual result matches with the expected result okay so that's all for today thanks a lot stay tuned watch for the uh, the next tutorial bye 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 bye